Okay, here we have solving irrational inequality, problem type one. So this one's a lot like the polynomials where you're gonna figure out what the values are that you need to test. Um, the only thing different here is that your denominator can never equal zero. So whatever X values you get from your denominator, they will always be open circles. It doesn't matter whether there's a bar there or not. The bar really only applies to the X values you get from the numerator. It does not apply to the X values that you get in the denominator, okay? So if I were to set my numerator equal to zero, I would get the value two. And if I set the denominator equal to zero, I would get the value six. Now I already know that two is over here, six is over here. Now this symbol applies to the two, so it does not have a bar, so it will have an open dot. The six will always have an open dot because it came from the denominator. It has nothing to do with this symbol right here. It has to do with the fact that it came from the denominator. So automatically it will have a um, parenthesis like that. Now, um, I'm going to take my test points, so I'm going to try 0, 4, and 8, and you're going to plug them into the entire fraction. So here I'm going to get negative 2 over negative 6, which is a positive in the end. Here I'm going to get a positive 2 over a negative 2, and that's going to give me a negative in the end. Here I'm going to get a positive 6 over a positive 2, which gives me a positive in the end. Now, this is where this symbol applies. I am looking for the values that are less than zero. So I'm looking for the values that are negative. So this is the only section I should be concentrating on, okay? And um, because of that, that's going to be my interval. So parentheses, two, and then six parentheses. Now, same for this one. If I set the numerator equal to zero, I get negative two, denominator, I get four. So negative two is on this side, four is on this side. The four, because it came from the denominator, will always have an open dot. The numerator, though, has whatever this symbol has. So since the symbol has a bar, there will be a solid dot at negative two. And then I'm gonna test. So negative three, zero, and five. And so I get a negative over a negative, which is positive. Here I will get a positive over negative, which is negative. And here I will get a positive over a positive, which is positive. Okay. So then here I'm looking for numbers that are greater than or equal to zero. So I'm looking for the positive regions. So both of these two regions, because both of those had positives. So then my answer is going to be negative infinity to negative two with the bracket because of the solid dot, parentheses four to infinity because of the open dot. Now this one is different, okay? This one does require some manipulation over here. So it has to have a zero before you can start setting your denominator and your numerator equal to zero. So I do have to do six over x plus six minus three less than or equal to zero. And even more than that, I have to have a common denominator. I have to have just one fraction over here. So I'm gonna do six over x plus six minus three times x plus six over x plus six so that I get that common denominator. Um, I end up with, they'll both have that denominator at the bottom so I'm just gonna write it as one big fraction. So I get six minus three X minus 18 over X plus six. Or if I go all the way up here, I get negative three X minus 12 over X plus six. So when I set my numerator equal to zero, I will get negative four. And when I set my denominator equal to zero, I will get negative six. So that means for the denominator, it has to have an open dot because it came from the denominator. For the numerator, I use whatever's here. And since there's a bar, this one will have a solid dot. Now if I pick my test points, negative seven, 
negative 5, 0. Here I will get a positive 21 minus 12, which is a positive. Negative plus 6 is going to give me a negative. Positive 15 minus 12 is positive. Negative 5 plus 6 is positive. And then 0 will give me negative over a positive, which is negative. Now I am looking for where it is less than or equal to 0. So I'm going to include this interval and this interval because those are the negatives. So my final answer is negative infinity to negative 6 and then union bracket negative 4 to positive infinity. So this one required a lot of manipulation when the number on the right hand side is not a 0. So be aware of that as you go through this topic.